In today's episode of Green Bay Packers Prospect Spotlight, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite safeties in the upcoming 2024 draft and one of my favorite sleeper draft picks overall in this draft. And that is Katan Oladapo, safety from Oregon State. I think Oladapo is being slept on way too much and is going to be a later round draft steal in this upcoming draft. So for the Green Bay Packers, they obviously still have a need at safety. Yes, they went out and signed the top free agent at safety, Xavier McKinney, and he will be their one deep, their post safety, their main guy back there. But in this new Jeff Halfley defense, it's not only going to be a one deep safety look. Sometimes they're going to need two deep, or they're going to need another safety to drop down into the box to help against the run, have a robber roll type of safety. And I think Katano Ladapo fits that role perfectly. Outside of McKinney, the Packers still have Anthony Johnson Jr., who I also really like on this roster. But outside of those two, Benny Sapp and Zane Anderson are the two other safeties, and those are two guys that very well could not even be on the roster come 2024, or if they are, it's solely for special teams. Not to mention the Packers' new defensive quality control coach is Anthony Perkins, who was the cornerback's coach at Oregon State the past few seasons, so he has close relation with Katan Oladapo. So in today's video, we're going to take a deep dive into Oladapo as a prospect and do some film breakdown as well. If you do enjoy this sort of video and you happen to be a new viewer here, definitely go down and click subscribe. We do a prospect spotlight every single week, among all other draft content such as mock drafts and everything else Green Bay Packers from salary cap free agency and any other news. So go down and click subscribe if that does interest you. All right, so let's get this thing started with Oladapo profile. We're going to start with RAS because it's the most accurate height and weight. So right now, Oladapo has an 8.17 RAS, so he's well within the Packers' athletic thresholds that they like for skill positions. He's 6'2", 216 pounds, so he definitely has the size at safety. The Packers generally don't have a threshold in terms of size for safeties other than they like them at or above 200 pounds, which Oladapo is. He had 15 bench reps. In terms of speed, um, Oladapo isn't the fastest player. He doesn't have the best long Long range speed, right? A 45840. Uh, that's pretty below average in terms of safeties. A 2.66 20 yard split and a 1.58 uh, 10 yard split. Overall, his his speed grade is good, so it's average. In terms of the explosion, he's also okay. Uh, a poor broad jump at nine foot nine, but a pretty nice uh, vertical at 36 inches. And he didn't test with three cone or the shuttle. Then we're taking a look at his PFF profile. Oladapo is one of the best PFF graded safeties last year with an 88.3 overall grade. He had 63 total tackles with only 11 missed, so his coverage grade was an 84.4. His run defense grade was a 91.3. And this is why I really see Oladapo as a box safety or a guy, a safety that you can kind of move around a lot. You can play him deep if you need to. You can put him in the box. You can put him in the slot. Man up running backs. Man up tight ends. Um, that's what I see him at the NFL level, and that's exactly what the Packers have right now. His forced incompletion rate last year was 19.4%. Very, very high. Missed tackles tackle rate up a little bit below average at 12.1%. Average depth of run tackle, again, a little bit below average at 8.9. Uh, but a lot of the times, which you'll see in the film, uh, he's coming up to make a tackle that his teammates already missed on the running back once or twice, and he comes up and finally wraps up that run, that ball carrier. He had 10 coverage stops, was tied for 82nd in college football, 13 run stops, tied for 128th. He only allowed 21 receptions on 36 targets, a 61.3 passer rating allowed. He allowed one touchdown, had two interceptions, and forced seven incompletions, which was tied for 27. And as I mentioned, Oladapo is extremely versatile. If we look at his snaps in 2023, he had 278 snaps in the slot, 292 in the box where he took most of the snaps and 174 deep. So you can really move Oladapo around a lot. And it was the same thing the prior two seasons. We see snaps deep in the box and also in the slot. So he's he's done this for the last three seasons. He's a redshirt senior. And that brings me to my next point. He also attended, obviously, the Senior Bowl, which the Packers keep a close eye on. A lot of their draft picks in recent years are guys from the Senior Bowl. Oladapo is one of them. He has a ton of experience, and that's what the Packers need if they're going to bring in a draft pick at safety to get some snaps right away. Looking at his average rankings on NFL Draft Buzz, there's a wide a range of where some sites are ranking him. We have him as early as the 65th best prospect on 33rd team and as low as the 259th 
prospect on PFF. If you guys know this channel, I do mock drafts on PFF, and I see him sitting there at 245, 255 in our mocks every time, and it's just blasphemous to me. Like, I, I don't see any way Keaton Oladapo falls to the seventh round. And I know we said similar things about Anthony Johnson Jr. last year, where a lot of people had him as a fourth round, fifth round, even as high as a third rounder, and he fell all the way to the Packers in the seventh. So I'm not going to say it can't happen, but I definitely see Oladapo as a fifth round. That's kind of exactly where I put him. I would go as high as, say, taking him in the fourth round. I think he's going to be a draft steal in this upcoming draft class. We can see here he's also 97th on NFL.com, 155th on Draft Buzz, 171st on MDDB, and 180th prospect on ESPN. So again, he kind of averages out right at that 166, so right around that fifth round mark. All right, so before we dive into the film of Catan Oladapo, I want to give a big shout out to BetUS for sponsoring today's video. And right now on BetUS, you can take advantage of an awesome offer, a 125% deposit match on your first three deposits up to $2,500. And also, thank you to BetUS. I'm giving away five free $25 bets. All you have to do is DM me on Twitter showing that you have a BetUS account, whether that's with your account number or just a screenshot of your account. The first five people to do so, I will get your account credited with a free $25 bet. Also in BetUS, you can bet on a couple things on Josh Jacobs, the new Green Bay Packers running back, one of which is over or under 1,000 and a half rushing yards. It's at the same line for each, but in my opinion, I think he's going to get over that 1,000 and a half yards. And then in terms of rushing touchdowns, it's at seven and a half over or under. The odds are in the favor of over seven and a half. Let me know down in the comments over or under on the yards and also rushing touchdowns. Bet US, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. Bet US, where the game begins. All right, so now back to the prospect spotlight of Katan Oladapo, and I'm going to start with a senior bowl clip. I do have one clip here, and this is a 1v1 against a tight end. Uh, Oladapo in his film showcases great ability to be physical and also be sticky in man coverage against bigger uh, receivers, and you can see that here. So it's a 1v1, which is which is hard to do to begin with. It's going to be a deep out route by this tight end. Oladapo is good at getting his hands on him, keeping contact, and then breaking towards the ball and that closing speed at the top of the route there. So enough contact, not enough to say warrant a flag or a hold there, uh, but does a really good job at remaining contact on a bigger a bigger player, a much bigger player here, and then that closing speed at the end there to make the pass break up. When I watch Katan Oladapo's film, uh, like I said, he's very good in man coverage. So if you were to put him down in the box or in the slot and you put him against a tight end or a slot wide receiver, he is very capable at doing so. And that's what the Packers are going to need. I think they're going to be playing a lot of press, some man where they drop a safety into the box and say, you need to cover up this big tight end. And I think Katano Ladapo, as it showcases here, is more than capable at doing so. All right, so now into the All-22 on the first play with Oladapo here on the left side of the field. Uh, Pre-snap, he's going to come up to that line of scrimmage and safety blitz here and do a good job getting by this running back, shedding that block, and getting a sack on none other than Caleb Williams. The Bears are going to draft Caleb Williams, and if the Packers go ahead and draft Katano Oladapo, I'm hoping we see a lot of this for the future years. Uh, Oladapo on a safety blitz, sacking Caleb Williams. It was a very impressive play here to get not only get by the running back, but then finish the play and bring down Caleb Williams, who's really good at extending plays and really good at scrambling. On this play, we have Oladapo on the right side of the field. So again, they move him around a lot, and there's also some uh, film where I'll show you where he's in the box. So he moves him around a lot. This is going to be zone coverage by him, but he's going to read and react and break down on this deep hitch route and just wonderful execution of breaking that ball apart. You know, he does a good job at, at at basically diagnosing this wide receiver the moment his pad level drops, the moment he starts to, say, beat the drum and, and break down on this hitch route. Oladapo knows it, and he's going to basically knive through the back of that wide receiver, but with good timing, so it's not PI or anything, and an excellent breakup by Oladapo here. This is exactly the zone read and react that Jeff Halfley was talking about and what he wants from his defense. Here we have a clip against Oregon, Oladapo on the right side of the field. It's going to be an inside handoff to, I believe, Bucky Irving. He's going to get through a few arm tackles, but Oladapo is going to come down and have a nice wrap-up tackle, and this is what I meant with the average depth of run tackle. It was at 8.9. A lot of the times he's at deep safety, and 
and some of his teammates miss tackles, and he has to come down and wrap up. And he's a very secure tackler, a wrap-up tackler. Not often do I, did I see him throwing arm tackles or getting thrown off you know, runners here. A lot of the time, he's wrapping up around the legs, and he's bringing down the ball carrier, or at least stopping them enough to where another cleanup tackle can happen. Very impressive tackle here by Oladapo on Bucky Irving uh, to wrap up here, find that run hole, and bring him down. On this play, Oladapo's in zone coverage on the left side. He's going to do a good job at flowing through this play because obviously it's going to be a rollout by Bo Nix here and a throw to the right and playing through the whistle and showcasing his aggressiveness as a tackler, you know, hammering this ball carrier out of bounds there after his teammate starts to make that tackle. So he's good at going in and cleaning up tackles as well. He's not going to give up on a play. He's not going to assume a play is dead. He's going to go in and show his aggression as a tackler for sure. I'll let this play once through. Um, he can be a hard hitter. He can definitely come down and make a, a solid hit on a ball carrier. On this play with Oladapo on the right side, and again, it's going to showcase him as a secure tackler, a wrap-up tackler. Again, again, Bucky Irving, who's a very good running back in this draft class and hard to bring down. And again, goes through a couple arm tackles there. And you see Oladapo wrap him up at the end, get his arms around him, a secure wrap-up tackler, and pretty much hang on for dear life and say, hey, you're not going any further than, than this point. Again, like this average depth of run where he makes a tackle to 8.9, this is the same thing here. You know, he's playing deep. He's coming up as a safety. He's not in the box by any means, but he's coming up as a safety after a couple missed tackles, one or two missed tackles there and wrapping up on the running back again just a very secure tackler here's another play of Oladapo on the left side it's going to be a bubble screen just showcasing his again willingness as a tackler now who knows if this is called as a horse collar at the end of a level it very well could be but again usual safeties here would kind of just you know go down and and push this running back out of bounds or just be like okay this play is over let's we're going to run each other out of bounds but no this guy's going to come down and make a tackle whether you like it or not. And yeah, it could definitely be called a horse collar, but I like the aggression. I like seeing the aggression from a safety. He's not scared to come down and make a tackle on any ball carrier, no matter the point of the field. And the final clip, we have Oladapo on the right side. Here's another showcase of Bucky Irving making people miss and Oladapo being the one to clean it up with a very impressive chase down leg tackle here. It's a toss outside to Bucky. He makes one, two people miss. Oladapo has to then come back to that, come downhill. Bucky Irving's trying to you know cut back across field. And it's not enough because Oladapo is a secure wrap-up tackler there, which which is hard to find in safeties nowadays. A lot of the time they like to come downhill and just throw a shoulder into a running back and hope that's that's going to work. That's not Oladapo, and, and that's what you like to see at the next level. That's what you want to see at the next level because, you know, Bucky Irving's hard to bring down, but NFL running backs are even harder to bring down, and you have to wrap up. Us Packers fans, we know the troubles of a safety not wrapping up. We've had plenty in the past that don't do so. So that's why I really like to see this from Oladapo in his film multiple times against a running back that is about to be in the NFL. So it's really nice to see. And this is why I project Oladapo as a box safety. He can play deep, but he doesn't have the greatest range. Uh, he's not as fast as you may like as like a single high. Uh, that's why I like him in like, say, if, it, if you were in a too deep look with McKinney, but more so in the box and the nickel manning up guys coming downhill, making wrap up tackles. So that's all the film I have from Oladapo. Just two games available, one from 2022, that USC game, and then the Oregon one in 2023. I wish there was more available, but there simply is not. And that's why I included the one uh, highlight on Dylan Johnson and also the senior bowl um, 1v1 matchup as well. But I want to know your thoughts on Oladapo down below. I would be more than happy happy with the Packers spending a fourth or fifth round draft selection on Oladapo. If he ends up falling to the sixth or seventh round, man, some team is definitely going to get a steal. He's one of my favorite prospects in this entire draft process. Um, I have a few of these guys every year where I, I really, really like them. And just like last year, it was, it was the Carl Brooks and the Packers ended up getting him in the sixth round and I was ecstatic. And he's turning out to be, you know, a hidden gem as well there in the sixth round. I think Keaton Oladapo is going to be the same thing. So hopefully the Packers can pair him up again with Anthony Perkins the new defensive quality control coach and pair him up with Xavier McKinney, which I think would be a wonderful pairing there. Not only him, but you know, also Anthony Johnson Jr. and a potential other safety in this draft class that could maybe be more of a uh, deep safety as well. The Packers could definitely draft one or two safeties. I just hope one of them is Oladapo. But again, let me know your thoughts on this prospect down in the comments below. But I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. And as always, Go Pack Go!